Welcome to the Sage 50 U.S. Edition Anytime Learning Topic. In this lesson, you will learn about the process to print or e-file vendor 1099s using the Atrix Tax Form Selector. After completing this Anytime Learning lesson, you will be able to verify vendors are set to track 1099 payments correctly and print or e-file vendor 1099s using the Atrix Tax Form Selector. Before we begin, let's look at how 1099s should be set up. To be successful, you want to ensure the following conditions are met in SAGE 50. A 1099 type code must be assigned to any vendor who is to receive a 1099. Payments made to a vendor must be posted to a general ledger account configured for 1099 reporting. Payments must be dated within the calendar year for which you are printing 1099s. And payments made to vendors must meet or exceed the lower limits amount defined by the government. Additionally, although printing 1099s is an accounts payable task, the payroll year in which 1099s will be printed must be open in the program. Let's walk through these items and verify this information first. A 1099 type code is usually assigned when a vendor record is created in SAGE 50. A quick way to verify that your 1099 vendors are assigned to the correct 1099 type code is by using the vendor list. Access this list by clicking the vendors icon and then select view and edit vendors. Here is the vendor list. Let's customize this list to display the 1099 type codes. Click the Settings button. And let's add a column for the 1099 type and click OK. Now the vendor list shows the 1099 type codes. Scan your list of vendors to verify they are correctly assigned. Now you should verify that your general ledger accounts are properly configured to report 1099 payments correctly. To do this, click the 1099s icon and select Setup 1099 Defaults. The Vendor Defaults window opens with the 1099 Settings tab displayed. You can scroll down to see that every account in your chart of accounts defaults to a description of INT Income or MISC slash NEC Compensation. When you have finished reviewing the default GL account settings, you are ready to review the 1099 report. Click the 1099's icon and select Print 1099 Report. SAGE 50 will display all the 1099 vendors to whom payments have been made during the year and what type of 1099 they should receive. Here, you can verify the individual payments made to your 1099 vendors for the current payroll year. You can see if lower limits have been met. You are now ready to print and e-file vendor 1099s. From the Vendors and Purchases Navigation Center, select the 1099s icon and print 1099s from the drop-down menu. The Select a Report or Form window opens with the tax forms pre-selected. Click Preview and Print. The program automatically checks for and installs any payroll forms updates. It is important that you are connected to the Internet. After all updates are installed, the Payroll Tax Form Selector window opens, displaying available Atrix Federal 1099 and related tax forms. Leave Federal selected as your form type and select the form that you want to process. In the Select Filing Period section, select the current year from the drop-down menu and click OK to advance to the 1099 Setup Wizard. On the Company Setup window of the 1099 Wizard, you have options to test drive the 1099 Wizard. These options allow you to see how the process works without saving the information. For this example, select the option to start processing my 1099, 1096s, and click Next. 
On the next window, verify your tax ID number. Click Next. On the Multiple 1099 Data Files window, select the option No, I use a single 1099 data file for this EIN and click Next, unless your company uses multiple data files. Verify and update the company information on the Payer Information window. Click Next. On the Tax Preparer Type window, select whether you are filing 1099s as the owner or employee of the company, or if you are a paid preparer filing on the company's behalf. Click Next. On the State and Local Tax Items window, add or edit properly formatted tax account numbers as needed and click Next. On the Data Verification window, select Yes or No to indicate if any recipients have elected to receive 1099 forms electronically. This means they will not receive a printed copy of their 1099. This must be authorized by the vendor. Click Next. On the Recipient Identification Numbers window, select the correct option to determine how identification numbers display on recipient copies and whether to print recipient identification numbers on forms with the zero amount. Click Next. The 1099 Preparer opens for your review. This window is organized in a spreadsheet format and divided into two main areas, vendor information and payment information. Use the Next and Previous buttons to walk through the verification process. At the top of the window, there is also a progress bar so you can see where you are in the process. The column data you are focused on is highlighted in blue. First, verify taxpayer identification numbers. Make sure there is a valid taxpayer number for each 1099 recipient. You can enter or edit numbers on this window and click the next arrow at the top of your window. Next, verify that check if FEIN is checked for those recipients that use an FEIN and click Next. Next, verify the recipient names and addresses. If errors are found, go back and correct them. After making the corrections, click the next arrow again. Verify all income boxes. Note that you can also update the amounts entered on this grid. Any changes made here will not update payment data in Sage 50. Click Next. Verify that the filing state is correct, then click Next. Verify the amount of state income and tax withheld, and then click Next. The Atrix Complete eFile Service Offer displays. Click Next. On the 1099 Printing and Filing Options window, the Complete 1099 eFiling Service offered by Atrix displays pre-selected along with an opportunity to select your own options. For this demonstration, Choose Select My Own Options, including Print My Recipient 1099 Copies and Print Federal 1099s and Reconciliation Forms. If you have not purchased eFile service from Atrix, deselect the eFile options. Click Next. The benefits of Atrix Complete 1099 eFile service window displays. Click the box at the bottom if you would like to continue with the complete 1099 eFile service. Otherwise, click Next. PDF archiving is available for an additional fee. For this demonstration, select No Thank You and click Next to advance to the Review Data window. Review the processing options you selected. You can also print a copy of this list for your records. Click Next. All vendor 1099s and company 1096 forms begin to display in the forms viewer. 
Use the toolbar at the top of the window to verify your progress. In this case, the Federal 1099 MISC form displays as Report 1 of 4 for your review. After reviewing the information for accuracy, click Print Final. A paper warning displays advising to insert the official red 1099 federal paper. Click OK on the warning. On the print window, make your selections and click OK to print. After completing the printing process, click Next Step. If you have elected to e-file your 1099s, log into your Atrix e-file account to complete the process. Upon completion of the e-file process, click Close on the Atrix Secure e-file completion window. The 1099 History File Options window displays listing the last completed actions. You can select your next steps from available options and click Next to start the selected process or close the W2-1099 Prepare window. Congratulations! You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning topic. You have learned how to verify vendors are set to track 1099 payments, and print 1099s in SAGE 50. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning lesson. For information on additional training options, please visit us at www.sageu.com.